now let us discuss about bounded buffer problem this problem is one of the classical problems of the synchronization this problem can also be called as producer consumer problem by using semaphores in the first video that is the background about the process synchronization in that uh, video just we have seen uh, producer consumer problem without semaphores uh, there we will get a race around condition in order to solve that problem only just we require uh, produce uh, we require uh, all these uh, process synchronization techniques uh, so in the examination if the question is given on explain producer consumer problem using semaphores then you have to explain uh, this topic okay uh, let us see this problem let we have n buffers where each buffer can hold one item here we have 1 2 3 4 5 here we have five buffers so where each buffer can store one item so we have five buffers with the help of five buffers we can store five items next we have three semaphores mutex full and empty here the mutex semaphore is binary semaphore we know about binary semaphore the value may be either 1 or 0 whereas full and empty are uh, count semaphores so count semaphore means the value may be any value it is any integer value it may be 0 or 10 or 30 any integer value okay here the initial value of the mutex is 1 mutex stands for uh, mutual exclusion uh, this the semaphore variable mutex is mainly useful in order to achieve mutual exclusion if mutex is equal to 1 then it specifies that uh, critical section is free critical section doesn't contain any process whereas if mutex is equal to 0 then it specifies that critical section contains a process next the initial value of the uh, semaphore full is 0 why because initially all the buffers are not full all the buffers are not full so that's why we have written 0 as the initial value of the full initially all the buffers are not full next the initial value of the empty semaphore is n why because initially all the buffers are empty initially all the buffers are empty here we have n buffers so that's why the initial value of the empty is n so this can also be called as producer consumer problem so with the with the help of the semaphores so we know about producer consumer problem so producer process produces an item and that item will be placed in the buffer whereas consumer process consumes an item from the buffer so first let us see about uh, structure of the pro producer process and then structure of the consumer process then we will discuss uh, in detail about uh, all these logics uh, the structure of the producer process is while of true so this is an infinite value so this condition is always true uh, in comments so producer process produces an item in next p so here next p is a variable so that item uh, let the item is 10 so that 10 will be stored in next p so p stands for produced okay next here this is this part is nothing but critical section so on top of the critical section we have entry section so this part is entry section these two statements are entry section whereas those two, uh, these two statements are exit section so first let us see about em entry section in entry section we will perform weight operation whereas in exit section we will perform signal operation so here we have two counting semaphores the first semaphore is full the second semaphore is empty so for remembering purpose uh, let us uh, here we have empty and full so if you take e and f so what is the first letter if you take e and f e is the first letter so here the first uh, first uh, uh, function is we know that on semaphore we can perform uh, two operations weight operation and then signal operation here the weight uh, operation is performed in the entry section 
signal operation is performed on the exit section so out of e and f e is the first letter so for remembering purpose uh, just uh, remember like that so the first statement is weight of mt weight of mt here in the entry section we must uh, uh, execute uh, mutual exclusion okay we must lock that mutex variable so for that purpose here we must execute weight of mutex it may be producer process or consumer process if we lock the mutex variable other process can't be in the critical section if one process is in the critical section then other process is not allowed to enter the critical section okay so this is nothing but critical section in the critical section what we are doing we are adding that next p in the buffer okay now let us focus on exit section exit section means signal operation so signal of here the first letter is e mt so here we will get in place of mt here the reverse of mt is full so here we will get signal of full next here we have weight of mutex so here we must have signal of mutex so it is very very easy to remember this one so the first statement is weight of out of e and f e is the first letter so weight of mt next we must execute weight operation on the mutex so weight of mutex next to critical section next to signal of in the entry section we have v so here we will get full so signal of full and then signal of mutex okay if we if we focus on the structure of uh, consumer process weight of here in the producer process we have mt so here we will get reverse of mt so reverse of mt is full so weight of full so here also we must write weight of mutex so here we have mute of weight of mutex here also we must have weight of mutex why because we must lock uh, that critical section so weight of mutex next uh, this is nothing but critical section code so removes an item from the buffer to next to c so that removed item will be stored in next to c variable okay next uh, here this is nothing but exit section so signal of here we have full so here reverse of full is empty so signal of empty here we have weight of mutex so for this signal of mutex so now let's uh, check our code so here what are the initial values the initial value of the mutex is 1 the initial value of the full is 0 Whereas the initial value of the MT is n, so m is mutex is binary semaphore. Whereas full and MT are full and MT are uh, counting semaphores. So let we have five buffers. Let n value is five. Let n value is five. One, two, three, four, five. Let we have five buffers. So initially MT value is zero. So let us execute first to producer process weight of MT. We know about weight operation. So what is weight operation? so weight of weight operation means uh, we need to execute some while loop while s is less than or equal to 0 semicolon s minus minus this is weight code where your signal code is s plus plus so here weight of empty so control goes to the weight operation here empty means this value will be passed to s so now what is s value here what is empty value 5 is empty value so 5 is less than or equal to 0 5 is less than or equal to 0 condition is false here at the end we have to write semicolon if we write semicolon at the end of the while loop then whenever the condition is false then only the control comes out from the while loop if the condition is true then the control will stays in while loop only but here what is s value empty value what is empty value 5 5 is less than or equal to 0 s condition is false so condition is false means control comes out from the while loop so s minus minus So now yes will become four. So what is yes? Yes means here empty value. So empty will become four. Here the producer process is producing an item. That item will be stored in the critical section. So here of initially five buffers are empty. After that item is placed in the buffer, then we will have only four buffers yeah, as empty. So that's why we we are decrementing empty by one. And the second state uh, second operation is weight of mutex. So control. What is the initial value of the mutex? One. So control goes to the weight operation. What is the initial value of the mutex? One. So one is less than or equal to zero. One is less than or equal to zero. S yes. condition is false. Here we have semicolon. So whenever the condition is false, then the control comes out from the while loop. S yes, minus minus. So what is the initial value of the mutex? One. So now mutex will become zero. 
so that no other when the producer process is in the critical section then the consumer process is not allowed if mutex is zero okay so now producer process can enter the critical section now uh, entry section is over so producer process enters the critical section now producer process adds that next to p value in the buffer so let us assume that producer process produces 10 so 10 is stored in next p so now that uh, value will be stored in the buffer okay so assumes that producer process is now in the critical section at that time uh, consumer process is trying to enter the critical section but we know that uh, critical uh, section means at a time only one process will be in the critical section so when uh, producer process is in the critical section then consumer process is not allowed to enter the critical section now let's check whether consumer process can enter or not so weight of full so what is the initial value of the full zero so control goes to the weight function zero is less than or equal to zero zero is less than or equal to zero so condition is true here at the end we have semicolon so now what will happen if the condition is true then the control stays in while loop only so now consumer process has to wait until s value will be changed to one so here the point is so here the producer process is in the critical section but the consumer process is not allowed to enter the critical section so this is correct structure only uh, so assumes that uh, producer process completed its operation in the critical section uh, so producer process now comes out from the critical section and executes exit section so signal of full signal of full so control goes to the signal so full value will be incremented by one previously full value is zero so now full become one why because here one buffer is full out of five buffers one buffer is full so that's why full is incremented by one now signal of mutex so mutex value will be incremented by one so previously mutex is zero so now mutex become one now he assumes that uh, you now the producer process is not in the critical section now the critical section is free now assumes that uh, uh, consumer process is now trying to enter the critical section so while of true so wait of full so first what will happen uh, the value of the uh, control goes to the wait operation so what is full value so now the full value is one one buffer is full so one is less than or equal to zero one is less than or equal to zero condition is false so control comes out from the while loop yes minus minus yes minus minus here what is yes full value so full value will be decremented by one so now full will become zero here the consumer process is consuming an item so that means consumer process is removing an item from the buffer so what will happen so previously it has one item now 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 the number of items are zero so that's why here we have to decrement full by one so next one weight of mutex why because when the consumer is in the critical section then the producer is not allowed to enter the critical section so weight of mutex so now what is mutex value the initial value of the mutex is one what is the mutex value mutex value is one so now the control goes to the mutex so this mutex is nothing but sum of four value now so one is less than or equal to zero as yes, condition is false so control comes out from the while loop s yes, minus minus so now mutex becomes zero mutex will become zero so now producer process is not allowed to enter the critical section so now consumer process can enter the critical section it removes an item from the buffer and stored in next to c variable next it executes signal of empty it executes signal of empty so signal of empty means that empty value will be incremented by one so previously empty value is four now empty value will become five so that means all the five buffers are now empty next to signal of mutex why because to allow other process to enter the critical section it increments mutex value so this is about bounded buffer problem if you see here if you see here first what the producer process is doing producer process is performing weight operation on empty semaphore variable so that means producer process is decrementing empty variable by one next to producer process is implementing weight operation on mutex variable so that other process such as consumer process uh, is not allowed to enter the critical section next to producer process is uh, entering the critical section once the operation is over it come out from the critical section and executes exit section in the exit section 
producer process is calling signal operation on the full variable and it, it calling signal operation on mutex semaphore variable. So here what the producer process is doing, it is decrementing mt variable by 1, mt semaphore by 1 and it is incrementing full by 1. So likewise you can explain structure of the consumer process also. Consumer process is performing weight operation on full semaphore variable. Next consumer process is performing weight operation on mutex semaphore variable. Next it, uh, it enters the critical section that means it removes the corresponding item from the buffer and it is stored in the next to C variable. Next to consumer process is performing uh, signal operation on uh, empty variable empty semaphore and consumer process is performing signal operation on mutex variable. Here the consumer process is decrementing uh, full semaphore by 1 and consumer process is uh, consumer process is incrementing empty semaphore by 1. So this is about uh, bounded buffer problem or uh, producer consumer problem using semaphores. Get the material in the comments in the I will ping that comment. So please uh, just refer the comments for the material for all the videos on operating system the material will be available in the comments.